If you're watching this video it's probably because you have technical drawing pens which are clogged and not working. I've got two Faber-Castell TG1S pens here both of which were blocked this morning but have been cleaned and are now back in action. What I'm going to do here is take off the back of the pen. I'm sure all of you have done this before simply for putting ink in and I'm going to take off the little ink reservoir. Take off the cap as well. If a pen is in working condition, if you shake it you'll hear a rattling noise and I'm assuming that if your pen is not rattling it's not working and that's the bit which we're going to repair. I've got a tool here which came with a new pen which is very very useful. It screws onto the end of the nib and uh, allows the nib to be pulled out. If you don't have one of these tools you can just use a cloth or even pliers very carefully. Faber-Castell recommend that we don't take this little cartridge apart but it's actually the only way to repair a pen so we're going to do that. Here's a little plastic cap at the back which I'm going to screw off. And then very very gently pull this metal piston out. This is the bit that causes the rattling noise. Now you'll notice at the end there's a very very fine metallic hair and that fits inside the nib. This part needs to be cleaned really well and this needs to be cleaned out as well, the nib side of things. Take a Q-tip, usually works best, just to clean out any excess ink. And once you're satisfied that both are cleaned, in fact just before you do that, a good little tip is to take this and move the hair in and out of the nib just to make sure that it's fully cleared before we reassemble. Once that's done, this little piston can be put back in. I'm not going to do this in real time because it takes quite a few minutes to make sure that it fits back in. But rest assured, after a few minutes of trying, this little hair will find its way home back into the nib. And it can all be reassembled again. Another little tip for keeping your pens in good condition is unscrewing the top of the cap. Inside the cap, Faber-Castell have put two little foam balls which touch onto the nib. You can put a few drops of water into there which keeps it moist and it helps the nibs from drying out. So I hope that's helpful in recovering some old pens that you thought may have been beyond repair.